Hey there! Welcome to another edition of Cambridge Inside Out. My name is Robert Winters. Judy Nathans. And today is December 6, 2016. Yeah. Is that Pearl? No, the 7th um, is Pearl Harbor Day. 16th. Uh, tomorrow no, no. is Pearl Harbor Day. Okay, it's so the 7th. December 7th, day that will live in infamy. Yes, uh, and a few more. Yeah. 9-11. Yep. 11 8, so. Yeah. And we are now three days after mm. the big fire uh, in, on Berkshire Street. Well, the big uh, fire here. In Cambridge. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's really kind of been a pretty all-consuming for a lot of people in the city administration. Uh, the mayor, mm -hmm. uh, elected officials have been definitely running around from place mm -hmm. to place talking to people. Uh, been just a pretty interesting few days. Um, I heard a wonderful interview today on BUR the yeah. local, with the, uh, not Jarrett Reardon, but his assistant or whatever. Someone uh, right the deputy there. fire chief? Morning, something. Uh, yeah, I'm forgetting his Somebody, name. Somebody, but it was really good. And they, they just did some good shout outs to the station to all the people you in know, the fire I, department. Yeah, I was down there for the fire. I, yeah. I actually... Did you cover your mouth? Uh, sometimes, yeah, yeah too. Yeah, it was really bad. They yeah, I, I just saw smoke coming from my kitchen window. Mm. Uh, I thought it was actually down the area four of the port. I said, looks like a big fire in the port, and mm -hmm. then went walking and found my way down there and said, oh, it's actually the other side. So I went mm. wandering in. And I actually didn't know until this morning when I went down for, uh, I checked it out and took some photos. We'll show until you some this photos. Morning? Well, I was down there on Saturday. Uh, yeah. I was there for maybe an hour and a half or more okay. during the when fire. It was really gone. Yeah. I, I think I was there like 15 minutes or so. Um, after, after it the, the, It became, wow. yeah, the call went out. The fire uh, departments, the apparatus from all these various city and towns. 25 now, I've heard. They, got there, was 20, but they got there pretty fast. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was interesting. You know, I actually didn't, I have to admit, like a, like a number of city councilors, I didn't mm -hmm. actually know when somebody says this is an eight alarm fire or nine well, not, alarm. I know, what does that alarm, mean? Somebody, uh, I think one city councilor put out on the on where he said this was a 12 alarm fire. Turns out there's no such thing. It doesn't um, go above 10? Yeah, what happened to you after, uh, and it actually really refers more to a protocol where, okay. you know, the first alarm, second alarm, um, the mutual aid from the other fire departments are called in. Mm -hmm. uh, so de whether it's the ladder companies or, you know, you name it, the different types of apparatus depending mm. on the level of the alarm. Okay. Um, so Somerville is one of the first of the mutual aids that get brought in naturally because they're right next door. That's what it's called, mutual aid? Yeah. And then, and then what, what happens is, is uh, with uh, each additional alarm, more and more cities and towns get the call, mm -hmm. sometimes multiple towns at once. I used, I've previously thought it, uh, when they said it was a number of alarms was how many towns were involved. Yeah, but, so uh, it's more the It's the a level of the units, fire. It's sort of like we need fire. more assistance. And, okay. And then once you peek out at a 10 alarm fire, then they just generally refer to it as a general alarm fire. Wow. And at that point, it's pretty much, you know, all hands on deck. Anybody who's got apparatus from anywhere, get here now. Okay, the other fascinating thing that, the, 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 I'm <clears throat> sorry I didn't get his name, said that the, the chief person there, maybe it was Reardon, uh, they have the ability, they have some kind of mic system that when he talks to, he can talk to every unit from every town at the same time. They have a common radio, yeah. Why didn't they yeah. have that in Watertown during the marathon? I mean, that to um, me was a big problem there. You know, to me, that well, was very did. reassuring. They did. Actually, they did because I was listening in uh, You're during about the, marathon the post marathon when after the uh, Sean Collier was it shot. It seemed like one hand didn't know what the other hand was doing. Uh, a lot of it. Right. Well, I think is it was they they didn't everything was Maybe sort of taken by surprise. And you know, a lot of people just showed up from other yes, departments and, without being. And I can tell you, there were yeah. Cambridge police. I could hear them on the radio that night. They were saying, being very they saying, which street? Where does this go? Yeah. Where does this go? The people didn't even know the roads and how to get from here I to there. Know. It was okay. very so you're saying they both have the same system, but I think so. Yeah, um, that was very nice to hear because it was, it was very well coordinated. Yeah, it was. It was something when I got there. Mm -hmm. uh, it We're was at the fire now. At the fire, yeah. yeah there was. Um, I, I mean, you just sort of following the smoke, and it seemed to be coming yeah. from one place. And I didn't realize at the time that I actually was on Berkshire Street. And so was, you were coming from Inman, you were on the, the other side towards... Uh, yeah, Bank I came from Street. Broadway, walked down from Broadway, Broadway, banged okay. across Hampshire and right into a Bristol. Okay, and, not and, down uh, to the, where the candle end of it was. Eventually dip it, you had to go yeah. all the way around to get exactly, there. Exactly, yeah. And it was, it was amazing. Very black smoke there, right? Yeah, it was really, I mean, I'll, I'll show you some pictures. We okay. have some. 
but uh, you know, eventually wandered around Webster, ran into some people. It was, it was actually interesting. There was, I think, maybe because of this TV show, a guy named Billy came running up to me and goes, "Are you Robert Winters?" And I go, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> like I was, he was, he was Billy. I think his last name began with S, but I didn't catch he it. He watches us. I, I don't know if that's how he knew it, but he. But then he he treated me like a, like I'm the news guy, and he oh, and wow. he, he basically gave. A lot of information huh. early on about what happened because he he, he lives in the he neighborhood. Lives in the he's, neighborhood. He's lived his whole life in the neighborhood, Goodness. and it was interesting. I'll, actually, let me say it right now. There was yeah. One of the these sort of interesting things I was mentioning this to the city manager last night. Mm -hmm. um, if there was a a big event like this around where I live, and people would try, kind of describe, well, where's the fire? They would say, oh, it's up at this number of Lee Street or 380 Broadway or mm -hmm. whatever. In this neighborhood, it's a Harrington, the, no, Wellington. It's a Wellington Harrington neighborhood, but. But the way you, but people say it's it's Mrs. So and So's house, uh, or it's at the, is the Chicarelli still family. Is Mrs. So and So's house though? The thing is, is some of them is, have turned yeah. over, but a lot of the houses are still known by people in the neighborhood. Even if the house oh, is sold, even if it's they, turned over, it's still known they'll as still that refer house. to it as the old, you know, oh, so and so house, right? Wow. Um, it's very, it's a real tight neighborhood. Well, East there. Cambridge, sure. I mean, there was a lot of young people who rent there as well, exactly. in addition to the long time. In fact, that's really how a lot of people derive income is by having people rent from them there because uh, they have triple deckers. So, and did you whatever. get any sense of how many renters and how many owners there were? No, I didn't no, quite see in any articles yet. No. About but, that. but one thing you really get the impression uh, strongly and right immediately mm -hmm. is how many people uh, have relatives all who live very close to each other, even still. Well, that's obviously right. why they didn't need shelter. A lot of well, I'll tell you, that's you know, another thing. It's right. one of the most impressive things yeah. I saw right mm -hmm. away was uh, people who were, because mm -hmm. uh, remember, this was relatively early in the fire. And, and for right. those who don't really, can you, you have to sort of be there to appreciate this, is mm -hmm. that the wind was blowing, oh, the fire was spreading, yeah. there was flames licking the on other buildings. The wind got worse, I think, as the hours went by. It also shifted and changed. Exactly. So things right. where they were preventing fire from coming one and that's way, why I think it just, they then had to prevent from right. the other way. Right. And that's really why so many, what the function that a lot of the other cities and towns, mm -hmm. fire apparatus and uh, personnel were doing, because honestly, it's really just one lane. You can't get a lot of exactly. engines in where the core of the fire no. was. So a Did lot they of people go around were, the back of it, though. They went oh, every yeah. possible street okay. coming in, and they were putting water on buildings, so you're right, to preventing prevent the, you know try and prevent the spread of the fire. And and, it got very and one thing I yeah. really came to appreciate when I saw the aerial photos, I think mm -hmm. yesterday was how much worse this fire could have been. Really? I mean, it was, I think, 11-ish build, 11 buildings. Some people say other numbers. Um, oh, I've heard like 16 were damaged. It could be as high as that, died. Yeah. right. Uh, and But the thing is, is that when you look at how close the buildings mm -hmm. are and the way the wind right. was whipping it, right. with enough, that was a firestorm in the making there. Yes. And it could easily have taken out a lot more. Right. So, you know, shout out to, well, yeah. you could make a whole list, but one of them I'll say, shout out to the water department and the, mm. the, the, the water board of the 19th century and in the mm -hmm. 1950s for making, or, uh, you know, making the connections with MWRA. So we had water pressure and we didn't lose water pressure as far as sure. I know. Yeah. So the, the firefighters were able to actually do their job without having to worry about that, at least as far as I can tell. Um, and it was, it was pretty Does dramatic. aluminum siding uh, help defray it a little bit? Temporarily. I, I was wondering about that because there was one startling picture. I don't know if you have it in the globe of curling. I didn't know what it I'll was. I'll show you a picture like of that. Okay. Actually, why don't we go to yeah, some of these here? Yeah, why we can talk. Right? Uh, we can talk a little bit about that. Okay, so, actually, so, so why don't we just we'll right. scroll down here. All right. So, just a... One of the scenes from oh. yeah, actually, so you just want to look at the map yeah, first? just so people know where okay. this is. Um, so it's actually the, if you go at the the lower right hand corner of, of the field, Donnelly Field, which is in okay. green, that's the corner this of York Berkshire. and Berkshire. This is all Berkshire. Yeah. Here's now, York. Now okay. the big building right south of the park there, that's St. Pat's. The um, this one right here? No, 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 south. Oh, the, this the, huge. Yeah, that's, that's St. Pat's. That was just converted into I housing. Oh, that's all affordable housing. And that's housing. pretty much destroyed. I know. Certainly, the roof line is destroyed. Thirty-eight units. In there, yeah, and yeah. the thing is, I think it'll be able to salvage some of the structure. I don't think it's completely lost. But if you go south of that, um, a couple of buildings, yeah, right by here. Next year, those buildings are gone. Those, so That's just where did the fire now. start? I thought it started from It, it was up. actually, in, uh, I believe it was that one right there. Oh, the that makes is. sense now. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was right there. And the fire licked right across the street, to took here? out buildings on the other side yeah. of the street. 
knocked out all the cars that were along there. And if you go right to that that, that intersection right south of that at Plymouth, yes, that's where I was. And I didn't okay. and I didn't realize that's where I was until this morning. Well, so I was ridiculously close, mm -hmm. and I, you know, in, in retrospect, I would have got the hell out of there, honestly. Well, but, I know um, someone that used to own property, I think right here, because he found out he doesn't own anymore. This back, there's a back part of this. Yeah was affected. Yeah, so actually, that means you can that see this whole area, this along, street I think you can't go on. Yeah, now. along Plymouth, no, you can walk on it. Oh, I was walking there today. With well, cars, yeah, you, you can only go part way in. Right. So uh, on Plymouth Street, Plymouth there street? are actually, yeah, on the north side of Plymouth Street, yeah. there are actually a number of houses that have uh, it's considerable uh, uh, pl plywood fire actually oh, okay. shot all the way up and down inside wow. one, but you wouldn't know if until to look so at it. So was it outside. basically this area, or yes. what about along here? Did it go up this way? Not no. really. Not and really. what about Van Dien Street? What about along here? There was definitely here? some damage along Van Dien. So yeah. mainly was this... Yeah, mainly here. right in there, all the way to the back of St. Pat's, the long building. Oh, uh, okay. Some other damage to some of the peripheral buildings around there, but that was oh, basically, boy. yeah. And this is all housing, basically, right? There's no yes. uh, warehouses. Yes, yes, yeah, wow. exactly. So, so you let's, want me to scroll yeah, down? Yeah, scroll down just a little bit here, so you see. Now, this is now, what the street is, looked like. This is Google Maps, I just Google snagged Maps, this right? off of Google today. Right. If you look over there on the left, is the blue house, I think, I don't know if that's still there. It says the, 30, that's where it started. Really? I heard 36, 37, they think, was where it started. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. that's interesting. Um, is this being then, renovated? Well, how old is this? I'm not sure, but yeah. there's the brown building on the left, I believe, is all gone, all the way down to the corner yeah. is gone. Wait, is this looking towards York? This is, no, this is standing oh, at York oh, looking toward Plymouth, and there's St. Pat's over oh, there on the right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yes, I heard something about, he said it today in that talk, 36, yeah. 37 was... So let's uh, scroll down major. a little more okay. here, and, uh, you know, we'll see... Right. Now, now this is actually, I think, oh. the first picture I took. This I could is, say this is on Saturday. Yeah, so this is actually at the corner of, uh, actually, let's see if you can scroll down a little bit more to get the bulk of it there. Oh, yeah. So just to sort of show you what it looked like, you know, it's in the middle of the day, and you can barely wow, see in there. So dark. I was so, When I was snapping the photo, it was wow. because you would see huge flames come up, yeah. but, but then... They would then they would you wouldn't see them and then you'd see them. The, the so cloud. where was this looking? Where is this? This built? is actually this is... looking down Berkshire toward York Street towards okay. St. Pat's. So it's right at the corner of Plymouth. You're looking right down the street, and that's wow. really where the center of it was. Uh, okay. And it was really I didn't, and as I say I didn't realize until uh, this morning when I was down there yeah. how close I actually was to it. Okay. Um, What's this? yeah. Just a few more. I, I, I edited this out. This is also the, on Saturday. Yeah, I believe this is, uh, if that, this may actually be also looking right, right down the same street, so you can Gosh. see what it looked like uh, were people at the street wearing level. Ma I mean, you have to wear masks. Some people were. Um, it wasn't as noxious as some really? fires, because it was more residential really? structure. It wasn't like chemical. Well, they That's true, but any but, smoke is not good for you. Oh, I agree, I agree. Yeah. But the thing is, it wasn't, uh, immediately you didn't really get it. You saw, okay. you saw it was mainly billowing up. But, all right. All right, so this we sort of scroll through a few of these here. So again, these are just again that's that same shot. Yeah, yeah. Right, and they were just you know trying to get in there. So this is this is at that. What is corner. that thing? Is that water? What is this? <clears throat> yeah, just up off of the ladder. No, no. This yeah, is it's just water, water being dropped oh my down gosh. up over the back of that building. That building's still standing. Really? That building wasn't burnt. That was at the corner of uh, Plymouth and Berkshire. Interesting. But it, when I first came up, I thought the fire was in that building, but I, I didn't see. realize what, everything that was going on behind it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Right? What's this? So, again, just the same picture, but it was just for a better shot when it was a little brighter wow. right in there. So, the wind is shifting. You so see here. It looks here. like it hasn't been touched yet by fire. This one, I think, actually is fine. So they, but um, I can see they're watering it to. Well, actually, it the down. water's going over the back. Oh, it's of going. It. Okay. Yeah. And I you wouldn't know that when you were. No, it's there, hard to tell. Right? So, this is sort of coming around some of the other streets. Um, wow. You know, this is actually, I think, when you go whipped around Webster. So that water shooting on what? It's very hard for me to yeah. see. Yeah. So this is like a side shot building. looking at the water coming down okay. over the back of that building that I we just saw in the previous oh, picture. Yeah. Okay. Right. Again, just a few more shots. This I don't, is all. I think, that's still water. That. Yeah. That just time. get a sense of exactly. It was like oh, those putting electrical out a, lines. Were any of those down? Uh, not I not they these cut ones. the electricity. Yeah. Now this Ooh. is a, these are pictures I took this morning. Oh, just so to it's show still some standing. Of the Wait a so minute. So there's St. Pat's, and you can see the bulk, bulk of the Saint, the structure 
So is, still the, there. is this made? What is this like reinforced concrete or something? What is this? It's not wood. I don't know, but it's still standing. Yeah, certainly. You, I was there in the daytime. I didn't include the photo here, but the thing is, you could wow. see. Oh, right, because it was a video I took actually of the fire when it was burning in the roof line. <sighs> And the building itself wasn't too So maybe they'll be able initially. to renovate this. I think this. they could probably gut this so one. Look, I don't think that building has to come down. Completely. But again, I'll leave that yeah. judgment to the fire inspectors. Is there anything else here? Yeah, just a few more. Um, again, just looking lengthwise wow. at this here. But it's interesting. It's the roof damage and obviously the roof actually windows, was but... burning when they were showing at yeah. night when the fire, the last two fires burning. One was in the St. Pat's and the other one was in a building across the street. And, but the walls and the, are not. But the the, yeah. the roof had actually been burning for three hours. I mean, it was wow. all under the roof shingles, and then eventually everything just collapsed. But and it must I, have some good fire retardants. Yeah, I, I did yeah. hear that the fire in the lower floors is when the upper floors burnt and collapsed in. Is it, is it a two-floor building? Uh, plus the uh, cockroach oh. up at the top there, yeah. Oh, so it's off three yeah, floors. Yeah, yeah. And you can see the remnants of the buildings oh, that were sitting there, that are now gone. Yeah, it looks like a lot of aluminum siding or something. Right. Yeah. So let's scroll down a couple more here. So again, this, this is just is walking roof. back yeah. along there. This is a side coming from this, uh, this uh, Plymouth Street yeah. looking inward. So the windows are pass. obviously broken here yep. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Uh, they're walking down the street a little further, more, you can try to see how it goes all the way because it's a long mm -hmm. building yeah. and there was a lot of fire all the way back. And this is the back end, so you ah, see, it's falling down. went all the way to the end of the building. Mm -hmm. um, again, I don't know what the sh what shape the the lower floors are in, but that was it. Then yeah, I came around. Is, now, what build? Yeah, when I, what building is that? Well, yeah. this is this is take a, taking a look from I believe the corner of of uh, Donnelly Field, looking down Berkshire okay. to the left side. So you may actually see some of the buildings that we saw in that previous yeah. Google shot that well, are still there. I can see they're all. You're, this is from gone. today because they've got plywood yeah, this and is all. today, yeah, yeah. yeah. This building, yeah. So this Steve Lanoskis, the city electrician, was there. The okay. the Eversource people were putting up new lines this everywhere. This looks like it had been a renovated building. This one, I don't know about this one, but this looks yeah. like it had been renovated. Yeah. yeah. So that's what it looks like, and that's we've got just a few more, okay. not too many more, but. Um, yeah. Right, again, this wow. is just looking from Van Dyne Street, I think. Oh, here's the siding. Actually, but not quite like that one I saw in the Well, there's globe. actually one where you will see okay, the, the peeled cider. Yeah. Yeah. So just let's go down All a little right. more here. Okay. And um, so this is another shot of St. Pat's from taking from, from over. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think this, the building has a lot yeah, of structure. Yeah, I mean, look at the totally okay. uh, That's really nice you know, Considering see. how close it was to I things. I know. Oh, look at so this sign already. Right up there on Donnelly Perfect. Field, you know. Help yeah. Cambridge families, um, you know, uh, the, the oh, GoFundMe. And I had to put in just a few pictures just out of the You're area. This is like front yard. half a block away <laughs> is a nice nativity yeah. scene, Aww. right? Uh, let's go down a little yeah. more. Here we go. Okay. Again, this is, again, just looking at a few yeah. of the shots. I believe these are from Van Dyne Street. So is that siding with the wood underneath? Um, yeah. Or some kind of Yeah, yeah. the okay. siding. So that people, might have helped. People oftentimes put siding over siding. Yes. My house is like that. Yeah. There you can see some of the siding all just buckled on the right-hand side, mm -hmm. looking down Van That's Dyne, the one right I at, think that was in the St. globe. Pat's. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, I took that photo this morning. And here, here we have some of the our, city officials. Uh, heroes here. <laughs> is Owen O'Reardon. Oh, right, that's uh, Owen. There's Kathy Watkins, the city engineer. Owen O'Reardon. Where? From, is that Kathy? Yep. And this is uh, Owen. Uh, Commissioner of Public Works. Yeah. Louis Di Pasquale and uh, uh, Where, Is that Louis right there? No, no, on the right. But oh, there's a better here. one coming up. Yeah. Who's um, this? Um, I'm not Jared? sure. I, he's one of, one one of the, the, the fire, fire chiefs, but okay. I actually didn't know. So let's go down just a little more. There's Louis Di Pasquale, Ranji from the Inspectional Services, oh, yeah. Kathy Watkins on right. the far left, uh, with a basically rubble behind oh. them from the fire. And let me see. I think maybe it's one other more. So, so there's Kathy and mm -hmm. Owen O'Reardon in the left, uh, whatever. So. And again, yeah. one last shot of, of beautiful yeah. uh, Wellington Harrington neighborhood, yeah. where we have the um, Madonna scene. We have the uh, alien, flamingo. the alien with a sword down at the base. Oh yeah, look at and that. And a pink flamingo. Perfect. Uh, all I gotta say is, all uh, right. you gotta love that part of Cambridge. Yeah. Um, uh, so it was. Uh, it was. What struck me when I heard about this a lot was that it seemed like it struck every class of people. You had the affordable housing, the people yes. in the St. Patrick. You had people in condos that own those condos. Yeah. Plus you had renters. So and you it, also everybody. had multi generational people who well, actually right, families were, owned the buildings for 
you know. Well, that yeah. I mean, I wasn't aware of, of total owners. They said it was about 112 people, about 25 to 30 kids, about 40 it's, families. That's it's about just right. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. And it was quite an impressive operation the city put together yeah. Um, yeah. at City Hall yesterday. Where they had you know tables for yeah. every possible city service. Was it busy? In place. I mean, you went stuff. When I got right? there, they had already registered most everybody who needed right. to be it's registered. Right, been open but, since eight thirty. But they were still providing information yeah. and details and signing up people for very specific yeah. assistance. Uh, Where's know. the fund at now? Because I know it's it's grown. It was it like, was actually they had originally targeted five hundred thousand well, dollars. No, and, originally it was two hundred thousand because I donated that day. Right, but it was it, it was this morning. It was about four something. Oh wow, uh, pushing, like yeah. four. 30 something yeah, for 40 they, yeah. and rising. So, you yeah. know, it, I think they may, they may very well. Well, you have to goal. reach your goal before you can go beyond. So, you don't want to yeah. do too much. One, one thing that they were, uh, they were urging people if you're going to want to help mm -hmm. out, you should do by basically, you know, donate money. They need the money. Gift right certificates now. so people can well, purchase things. Yeah. They weren't actually accepting actual no, physical they, donations no. of clothing and whatever. No. But I think it is worth saying that mm -hmm. there were people, so many people. Other people in the city knew people who were impacted by the fire. Mm -hmm. They were directly assisting people. I, people yeah, there was a wonderful story in the Globe. Up. Did you see that? The I two did not. young girls uh, from Cambridge they had gone to the high school, had come back from wherever they lived because they had knew that area and they helped that one family that I think was on the news. Right. The family from uh, Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah. And they brought them things, toiletries. So it was a very individual effort. Yeah, they yeah. brought toys for the kids. Um, mm hmm. Yeah, it was in Sunday's school. Yeah, I think the people yeah. up at Patty's Lunch in North Cambridge, who were, mm. you know, yeah. lifers for Cambridge, they were individually helping yeah. several families. It was um, a very nice thing because they said, you know, Cambridge, we take care of our own, you know. Yeah, Marjorie she Decker was, actually was really impressive on, on yeah. air. I think, I, you know. I, I didn't you know, see, was she on um, the well, local Well, she was news? on the local news actually the night of the fire, and she, I thought she really, really. Um, I, I heard her, Simmons. Her I heard Mayor Simmons she, on the local news. Denise was news, wonderful. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it was great. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, we really do pull together. <sighs> I mean, as I mentioned earlier, it was one of the most impressive things I saw were just neighborhood people assisting mm -hmm. people out of their homes, elderly yeah. people getting with, with walkers, people with wow. physical handicaps. Because at that time, because mm -hmm. we were talking about a half hour, within a half hour of the fire really getting going. Did they want to evacuate everybody? They were really trying to evacuate people Especially from all the surrounding had, like, blocks. If they were ill and yeah, they Yeah, and, have the, and the firefighters knew very much more so than I think yeah. other people who were trying to get close to the fire to see yeah. it. They knew very well just how much of a possibility it was that this could have spread oh, yeah. a lot farther. So they really wanted to get everybody out of there. And I have they, a question. I don't know if you know the answer. They said they'd stop the electrical power, but what about gas lines? Um, it didn't seem, I didn't hear anything about stopping gas or heat. If you right, know. and I don't know about that. Okay. Yeah, but uh, but you know, to whatever degree they can stop it, they'll stop it. You know, they, you know, as long as, as long as they know where the cutoffs and stuff are. They it's still don't know how power. it started, though. That's still up uh, in there. Nobody, I mean, this fellow Billy it might be said the house it, was, that was renovated. it was some people who were working on a building next right. to it. Right, that's and, what and this seems to be. That was the word it was going on the street uh, yeah. at the time. Whether it, We'll see what the... the um, was it an explosion? I, that's the other rumor I've it heard. It seemed like it was. People said they heard popping sounds okay, and that's whatever. What uh, and certainly the way that initial ball of fire um, yeah, came up. It looks like it wasn't, that was not just a pile of kindling going, that was no. something more. It, it does sound like it had to do with renovated right. space. People are saying it was, this was yeah. definitely accidental, so oh, people yeah, should no. be reassured right. about that But much, it's something right? to do with, because they were there that morning, people that were working on the renovation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, so it was... Um, yeah, wow, what a... Whew. Pretty dramatic. Actually, yeah. one, one scene, you know, it, and I didn't. I should have taken a photo of it, yeah. but you know, it's almost like voyeurism when you're taking photos. I, and I avoided all like of it. I didn't even want to go to City Hall. Yeah, but like, yeah. but that said, you know, you you yeah. sort of also want to capture some of the yeah, things. Sure. One of the things that I didn't get a, on film or anything like this was that there was apparatus coming from all these cities and towns, and right. there was a, a fire truck coming from Massport to assist, mm. and they were trying to come down Cardinal Medeiros, and there mm. was so many hoses on the street that the oh, fire that they couldn't drive over. So these guys from East Cambridge and <laughs> Wellington Harrington, the they said, "We got gotcha. you," and they ran into the street and they Aww. just and it was a fully charged hose. It wasn't like oh, slack, my gosh. On it. and then it just these brutish guys just were lifting the hose and hauling it over 
there. And they could so do the that. fire oh apparatus can gosh. get in there, and the fire fire department officials go, oh. "Thanks, guys." Oh, that's so nice. So it was yeah. it was nice. Everybody was very much trying to do whatever that's they a could. Pretty tight neighborhood. Would you say out yeah. of all the neighborhoods, or do you think there's other neighborhoods? Like uh, that? You know, there are pockets like in North has, Cambridge that yeah. are really tight like that. There's yeah. still some pockets of Cambridgeport. And I and I mm -hmm. definitely know there's some some of the parts of. I think they're forward. more in north and east because they probably were the last of. Yeah, that. east honestly, <laughs> East I mean, Cambridge really... and Wellington and Harrington yeah. probably have some of the tightest, really strong yeah. neighborhood feel of uh, yeah. any other, any part of Cambridge. Yeah, you know, so it was uh, uh, you know kind of an experience. We don't want to repeat it. No, um, that, there it's was... scary about it. if you own. I mean, you own a house. Um, I live in a yeah, house. Yeah, you can't and help people think that about smoke it. outside because they're not allowed. And I'm thinking, mm, we better put some sand in those things. That they yeah, put their cigarettes really. in because it's very dry still out there. Yeah, oh yeah, you yeah, know, it's really true. There were some people. I think it was the fire chief uh, Jerry Reardon was saying how. Um, he was that with the deputy chief was sort of speaking about how it was like the worst in 32 years he'd seen. In and this people area? Were, yeah, people were recounting some major fires. Somebody said the last really huge one of this scale was about 1980, but I mm. was asking people and I couldn't. So I have to kind of go ask Jerry Reardon or somebody oh, which wait fire a was that. 80. 80. Let me think of. Yeah, the I'm fires, the Squires um, you know, plant down in East Cambridge. Pearl where, Street, Sid's Market. Yeah. That was a big fight. That whole corner went up. I remember Did, when Ken Reeves there? was mayor, it was, it was he set up a fire relief fund for a major mm -hmm. fire. I think that might have been on Pearl Street, but I'm not 100% well, sure. Well, Sitz Market was on Pearl, where those condos Pearl are, where Sitz Market was like a two-story, yeah. many houses, and um, yeah. Yeah, so there have been a few, mm -hmm. thankfully not that many. Yeah, um, there you was know, one in my neighborhood, I think last year, right on um, Alston, or had one of those. So. Yeah, I mean, but the thing yeah. is, if it's if it's confined to a building, and also those or the two, weather conditions did not yeah. help. I think it would have been half as bad if there hadn't been. It was 25 mile hour winds. Yeah, that's right. You know, and 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 they were not consistently coming from one direction, so they would shift right. and then spread the fire right. the other way. So only a few seconds. Let me quickly ask you: You were there today. Was there ice? Because it's going to get there was some ice. Uh, uh, there was some ice, but most of the gonna, water was was, was uh, gone. Okay. I think they kind of they blocked off some of the storm drains because okay. they didn't want some of the material to get into and the they drain. Probably didn't want it to freeze. But, uh, but they yeah. cleared out most of it. But there was definitely still some slippery conditions down yeah. there. Yeah. But um, anyway, so I wouldn't go sightseeing on it except if it's a reporter here. To yeah, do, to yeah. some degree. So, yeah. anyway, uh, we're just about done with our first half yeah. hour. Yeah, we'll and we'll continue touch on with some, other, some other city business shortly. Happenings. So, see you uh, in a few minutes on yeah. Cambridge Inside Out.